What's up beautiful geeks, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So last week I posted a video about the physical equipment that I'm going to be using to get ready for my CCNE exam. If you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you check it out. I'll put it somewhere here. So go check it out if you want to see that. This week we're going to talk about the books, the virtual labs, the reading material and the video courses that I'm going to be using to get ready for the CCNA exam. If you're new to the channel and you like videos like this, this video is part of the CCNA series and there's more videos to come. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification. If you do like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Enough talking, let's go ahead and get the video started. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame cause I- Okay guys, welcome back, welcome back. Come on in, come on in, let's get the party started. So the first thing we're gonna talk about are the books that I'm using to get ready for the exam. I'm using this guy right here. This is the official set guide. It's by Window Odom. I hope I'm saying his name right. And if I'm not, Mr. Odom, I truly apologize. <laughs> uh, it's by Window Odom. It's a two volume book. This is volume one and this is volume two. Volume one is a little bit hefty as you can see. Volume two is not that hefty. Um, I am already halfway through this book. The book in total is about 700 and something pages. Now when you exclude things like the fluff pages like index and all this other stuff, review pages and all the other stuff, it's about 600 and something pages. So I'm already at uh, I think 394. Um, I'm already on page 394 so I'm already halfway through the book. And I think that I'm going to be able to finish it this up in the coming week. So this is the book as far as reading material go. This is the book that I'm using to get ready for the material. To talk about the book a little bit, it's a bit of um, it's a bit of a heavy read uh, in terms of some of the concept. Not about not so much about networking. Um, I must say, taking refreshing myself on the Network Plus before coming into the CCNA was pretty helpful. There's a lot of the concept, a lot of the things there. Um, I already understand. The things that I'm trying to get to understand now are things that are related specifically to Cisco. Um, so that's pretty, it's been fun reading the book. I wouldn't say necessarily the, the process is fun because <laughs> as I say, I'm not a networking person, um, but uh, it's been fun learning a lot of new concept about um, Cisco and moving forward with it. So the book in itself, one of the things that I don't like about the book, um, some of the previous books that I've read, um, that, um, that I've read comes would practice this before and after the, each chapter. For this one, there's only practice tests before each chapter to kind of just test your knowledge. And then you go into the, uh, the book you read. And then it's like this review process that they kind of want you to follow at the end of the book. Uh, and I guess that can count as well as some sort of a practice question or practice quiz that kind of thing but what I do for the book is that I don't take the practice or the let's say the pre-assessment or the assessment quiz I just go straight into the chapter read the chapter go through the review finish the review and after that I go back and then take what is meant to be the um, pre-test or the pre -ex pre yeah, pre-test the pre-test I go ahead and take that just to kind of round up and make sure I understand some of the concept. You can do it whichever way you want, but that's the way that I go about doing it. As I say, it's a bit of a heavy read. Um, it's a, it can be an enjoyable read for people that are really, really into networking. <laughs> uh, for me, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a heavy read in terms of like the concept and things like that to understand. But as far as the reading material go, this is the book that I'm using to get ready for the CCNA exam. As I say. As I said earlier, I'm already halfway through this book, so I should be done with it soon. The way I like to study is that I finish the book um, and then I go into the video courses and then I go into the labs and then I go into the practice test. Other people like doing it some, um, other people do it the other way around where they go to the video to introduce them to the topic and then they read the book to kind of solidify some of the things that they've seen in the video and then they do the practice test to really solidify some of the things that they've learned. And then, I mean, they do the lab to really solidify some of the things that they've learned, and then they do the practice test. But for me, I just like the book, the videos, the lab, then the practice test. So that's the way I'm doing it. So as far as the book go, this is the book that I'm using to get ready for the CCNA exam. Pretty well put together book, pretty well detailed. Um, highlight a lot of things in the objective and a lot of things that are going to be in the CCNA exam. And I should be done with uh, volume one pretty soon, and then I should be able to move on to volume two. So. And this is, um, these are pretty much the two books that I'm going to use to get ready for the CCNA exam. Pretty heavy, uh, but uh, doing research for the CCNA, 
the previous <laughs> the previous book were a lot more heavy because they came in like a package. Thank God I didn't have to go through that. <laughs> but yeah, these are pretty much the books that I'm going to use to get ready for the exam. So now let's move on to the video courses. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and talk about the video courses that I'm going to be using to get ready for this exam. For this exam, I'm going to be using two video courses to get ready for the exam. And the reason behind that is because I felt like one of the courses was not really, really, really doing it for me. So I needed to try to get something else to try to back that up a little bit, but also because of the virtual lab um, aspect of things as well. So course number one is the, U uh, the IT Pro TV um, uh, CCNA course. Uh, this one is pretty well put together. It's a pretty well outlined course. As you can see, I'm already done with this one. I watched the whole thing. And it's funny because <laughs> previously I said I like, to, I like to read the book first and then the video course and then the, 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 the labs and then uh, the, the practice test. But the reason why I'm already done with this course is because my work is not that busy right now. I guess you can say that. <laughs> so when I get a little bit of uh, downtime, a little bit of extra time, I go straight into watching the video courses and then just started like kind of get familiar with the topic. I might have to rewatch them. And this is how I get to watch like a whole course, like two to three times, because every time I have a leisure time, every time I have something like a downtime or something like not too hard and I'm doing something that doesn't involve too much brain power I tend to listen to the courses and just kind of go off of it and just kind of slowly and surely kind of just absorb the information so that's why you see that I'm already done with this course but I might end up coming over coming over and then watching it all over again coming back and watching it all over again um, so for the first course is the IT Pro, uh, IT Pro TV video course However, one of the things for me for this course is that I just didn't feel like it was it. I didn't feel like this is all I needed. Um, after I was done with it, I was like, I don't feel it. I don't feel that, oh, this was really, really, really good. Uh, not to take away anything from them, I think that the course is pretty good as a whole. And you can just watch this and then be able to do the book, labs, and practice tests. And, and I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to pass the exam. But I just wanted a little bit more. So because of that, I went to Udemy. It's always Udemy, bro. <laughs> I went to Udemy and um, tried to find another CCNA course. And the, the person's course that I felt like was pretty good, was pretty well put together for me was Neil Anderson. I hope I'm saying his name right. This course was extremely well put together. It, it contained virtual labs and the virtual labs are kind of labs in uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. And I do want to, uh, I use Cisco Packet Tracers for some of the virtual labs. We're going to talk about the, some of the virtual labs that I'm going to be doing. So it was perfect because I, I'm not too experienced in Cisco Packet Tracer yet to start putting my own labs together. So it was beautiful. He's already put together the labs for you. All you have to do is download it, import it into Cisco Packet Tracer, and then just run off with it. He has detailed instructions on some of the things that you need to do, the command line, the CLI. It's beautiful. It's very well put together. And that's why I think I love this course. That's why I love the Neil, Neil Anderson CCNA course. And again, it's not to take anything away from um, IT Pro TV. The IT Pro TV course is great. I love it. But this, the, the Neil Anderson CCNA course was, was just like the extra that I needed for um, the CCNA exam. And as you can see, I'm more, I've already started this one as well, because I said when I have downtime, I just kind of roll with it and then just start listening and start just going through it. So I'm already go, um, going through this one already. Video course number one is done. I'm already trying to go through video course number two. Um, I'm trying to save the labs um, because a lot of time when I'm driving to work or I'm doing something else, I'm listening to the lecture, I'm watching the lecture and the lab is for the second time. So after I'm done with the book, when it's video time, <laughs> I will come back and then rewatch the videos and then do the lab. But for now, I'm just taking advantage of any downtime that I have. So as far as the video course go, these are the two video courses that I'm going to be using for my exam. Number one is the IT Pro TV one, which is good, but I just felt like it wasn't oomphy enough, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And number two is the Neil Anderson course, which I think it's a great course. I love it. And I love the integration of the Cisco Packet Tracer in it. So if you, if I have to choose between the two, I would definitely say go with Neil Anderson's course. If you're saying like, oh, listen, well, I don't have time to be doing two courses. I just want one. Definitely the Neil Anderson course. It's affordable. 
it's cheap you don't have to pay it's affordable it's 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 well put together it's affordable it's cheap <laughs> I can't help myself sometimes. It's affordable, it's well put together, and uh, it, it's just gonna make your life a lot more easier. And especially if you don't wanna get a physical lab, you just wanna go off of like a virtual lab, I'm telling you, the Neil Anderson course is the course for you. Okay, so the next thing on the list is the virtual lab. So as I said uh, in the intro video, we talk about the physical lab, and I'm definitely gonna use that extensively, and you guys are gonna see more videos of that in the coming up um, uh, videos that are part of the CCNA series, but I also wanted to do virtual lab as well because why not? It can only make me, it will only make me better um, uh, in the CLI, in the Cisco CLI uh, moving forward. So the two virtual labs that I want to use for this exam, number one is the Cisco Packet Tracer, and that's because it's already it, it already comes integrated into Neil Anderson's course. Not to keep praising the guy's course, but I, I think it's a really good course. <laughs> it already come integrated in the course, so I definitely wanted to. That's one of the reasons why I actually decided to get it because I wanted to learn Packet Tracer. I wanted to be able to kind of sometimes be able to put together your own like structure, your own network structure, and be able to play around with things. Uh, the physical lab is there for me and I can do some of that, but at the same time, to be able to do it virtually, I really wanted to learn the Cisco Packet Tracer. And when I was looking for a, a, a video series in Udemy, I wanted something that, that, I wanted something that had Cisco Packet Tracer integrated into it as a course. And again, Neil Anderson's course was just perfect for that. So definitely virtual lab number one is the Cisco Packet Tracer virtual environment. And I'm definitely using Neil's Anderson course to kind of go through that and get used to the system. And as time goes along, I will start maybe putting to, I will start putting, um, putting together some of the, the labs or some of the things that I want to test myself. Um, number two is the IT Pro TV lab. IT Pro TV has like an extensive, extensive lab, which I think is great because it goes through, you know, exam objective by exam objective by exam objective, and it goes through the lab, which I think is really, really good. So definitely going to go through all of that. As you can see, I've already started that. Um, I'm not supposed to yet because I like going in order, but it seems as if this exam, I'm all over the place. But again, that's because I have some free time. If I have free time, I don't waste it. I try to use it as best as I can. And you should too, because time is our most valuable asset. You know this. <laughs> so I try to use it to the best of my ability if I have some free time. So that's one of the reason why you see uh, a lot of these things have already been done instead of just focusing on the books, which, which I am every morning. The book take precedence right now. But if I have free time, I use it. So <laughs> anyways, IT Pro TV um, Virtual Lab, I definitely want to do it. It's a pretty well, I'm definitely going to do it. It's a pretty well lab, it's a pretty well put together lab. And that's the second lab that I'm going to use in terms of virtual lab. That's the second virtual lab that I'm going to use um, to get ready for the CCNA exam. So basically those are the two virtual labs that I'm going to use to get ready for the CCNA exam. Um, number one is Cisco Packet Tracer and it comes integrated with uh, Neil Anderson's course. Number two is IT Pro TV um, um, virtual lab. Definitely going to, it's pretty extensive. Definitely going to go through all of that. And of course, um, not to add the physical part of things in here as well. I do have, but we have to talk about it. I do have the physical equipment and that, that lab is extensive. <laughs> we talked about the lab the last time. I mean, it's extensive. It's pretty long. It even touched into the Wi-Fi part of things as well. So as far as virtual lab and physical lab go, um, those are the three things that I'm going to use. Cisco Packet Tracer, um, IT Pro TV virtual lab, and my physical lab. So as far as um, lab goes, those are the only thing that I'm going to use for the virtual lab to get ready for this exam. The last but not least uh, is the practice test. The practice test that I'm going to use to get ready for the exam. As you notice, I have not even touched this practice test because practice tests are things that I like to, uh, I like to do right before the exam, at the end of all my studying when I have completely grasp the concept, I tend to take practice tests then uh, because it allows me to say, oh, I understand this, oh, I understand this, instead of taking the practice test before. That makes no sense. So I try to go through the material first and then take the practice test on the end. And as always, I am using IT Pro TV's practice test for this exam. And the reason being that, number one, 
I've already paid for IT Pro TV and I am super cheap. So it is, well, I'm not. You know, it's funny. I say that all the time that I'm super cheap, but when it comes to like buying things in terms of like courses and things like that, I just like spend money all the time. I, I recently just purchased I and E, which I will talk about in another video. I have. I have the Udemy Premiere, I have the INE uh, 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 yearly subscription, I have the IT Pro TV yearly subscription. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'm not that super cheap when it comes to these courses. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I've already paid for IT Pro TV, so I'm definitely gonna use IT Pro TV um, practice test for this. The test is pretty extensive. There's a lot of practice questions in there, so I'm definitely gonna take advantage with it. If I do go take the exam and I do not pass it, then I'll come back and then try to do another practice test, right? But for now, the only practice test that I'm going to use is the IT Pro TV practice test. And of course, the, the pre-assessment questions that comes in this book, because for each chapter, it is about 10 to 15 questions. So I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that. So these questions in here in the books, plus, let me get the books. These questions in here in these books, plus the IT Pro TV practice test, those are the only practice tests that I'm going to use to get ready for the exam. Apart from that, uh, no more practice tests. These are pretty much all the things that I'm going to, things that I've talked about, virtual books, uh, video courses, practice. These are all the things that I'm going to use to get ready for the exam. And if I go and I go take it and I don't pass it, then I'll come back and then try to reevaluate and see what else I need to take. Speaking of INE, if I don't pass the exam the first time, which knock on wood, I do. <laughs> um, I will. I will come back and take the uh, I N I N uh, I N E video course, which is pretty extensive. It's like 140 something minutes. Um, I N E is something that I'm going to talk about. It's another um, I T website that uh, have I T courses and and um, help you learn and grow in I T. But I'll talk about it. I will talk about them in another in another episode. Don't worry about them. <laughs> Don't worry about them at all. But anyways, as far as practice tests go, as far as everything go, these are the materials that I'm going to be using to get ready for the CCNA exam. Watching and thank you for sticking around till the end of the video. If you haven't done so already and if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you have any question whatsoever, make sure you hit the comment box below and ask me whatever it is that you want to ask me. I'm some, I'm literally an open book. I try my best to answer a lot of the questions that you guys send my way. And if I don't, I'm 100% going to be honest with you and say, listen, brother, I don't know this one, but we can figure it out together. So, <laughs> so feel free to ask me whatever you want to ask me at the, the the comment box below uh, thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video subscribe if you want to see some more i'm pretty excited to get this out of the way because the next coming video series is going to be hands-on where we get in and get dirty and all that stuff so make sure you hit the subscribe button turn on your notification if you haven't done so already as always do not forget to stay geeking i will see you guys on the next one peace